<laughs> Good evening, be the oneers, uh, and welcome to Quiz in English with me, Hayley Edmonds. Tonight there is a hundred euros up for grabs for those of you who get more than four hundred points, and for those who get a maximum number of nine hundred and sixty points, playing strategically. I'll talk about that in just a second. There's an extra fifty euros we're just going to give out there because we're to be the one, and we're generous, and we love giving money away. So. How do we go about winning that extra fifty? A part of that extra fifty euros, I'll tell you right away. So, just take off my star sunglasses. This is a little hint as to the theme of the quiz tonight. I'm looking very rock, you know. Got my sunglasses on. Got my dollar dollar bill leggings on. It's all very appropriate. It's all in the theme.、Um, so yes, so strategically, how can we go about winning, getting some of that jackpot money? That's what we want to earn tonight. So we're giving you three, four jokers. Yes, that's four jokers. Two fifty-fifties, so two that will take away two wrong answers from each question. You can only use one joker per question, and two that multiply the point scores. So we're going from twenty points for the first question right up to a hundred points on the last question, question number nine. So these multiplying、uh, jokers, what are they? We've got one times three and one times five. So if you're playing cleverly, you'd keep the jokers for the last three questions. Question number seven and eight are worth eighty points, and Question number nine, one hundred points. So you just put that five, that times five down, right on question number nine. Anyway, so as I say, there's nine questions between you and getting your part of maybe a hundred or maybe an extra part of fifty euros. Let's get going with this quiz in English with question number one. Du, 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 du. In which year was the Staying Alive film soundtrack released as an album? Was it 1983? Was it 1982? Was it 1984? Or was it 1981? So come on, we're getting into this. We're getting really into that disco vibe, Saturday Night Fever, John Travolta. Whether you're a mother or whether you're a brother, you're staying alive, staying alive. It wasn't him that sung it, of course. It was the Bee Gees, but he did some groovy moves to it. In fact, that's. Kind of his breakthrough role, the John Travolta.、Uh, so that was staying alive, staying alive. It was 1983, 1983. So the first question, it was worth 20 points. However, <laughs> it can't have been that easy because I'm not getting some good statistics through these guys. Through through these guys. Uh, 26% of you got 1983. Thirty、mm, percent of you thought it was 1982. Seventeen percent of you thought it was 1984, and 27 percent of you thought it was 1981.、Mm -hmm. Whether you're a brother, whether you're a brother, and tout petit neo, I've seen you before. You've also kind of got a, a best score from, a, from another quiz, a previous quiz. So let's keep up the, that momentum, tout petit neo. You got the answer the quickest. Let's move on to question numero dos. Lady Marmalade was recorded for the soundtrack of which film? Was it American Pie? Was it Moulin Rouge? Was it A Beautiful Mind? Or was it Donnie Darko? So who can remember that clip with Pink, Christina Aguilera, Mia, Maya, and Lil Kim? Especially Lil Kim when she comes in, she's like, ah, ah, ah. Do 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 it's working nine to five. You know, even if you don't speak French, you know how to say, "Do you want to sleep with me tonight?" And don't even pretend you don't. And it's probably thanks to this song, "Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir?" That is not a question. That is just to kind of, you know, get you kind of involved, get you involved in this question. Question number two. Seventy-three percent of you got that answer right. So well done. Eleven percent of you thought it was American Pie. Mm-hmm. Twelve、uh, percent of you thought it was a beautiful mind, and five percent of you thought it was Donnie Darko. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm trying to imagine Lady Marmalade going on Donnie Darko, you know, all that kind of dark, sur sur surreal surroundings, and、uh, Lady Marmalade just bursting out all of a sudden. Why not? Constant three hundred and seventy-two. You got the answer the quickest, so well done, Constant. You know your Christina Aguileras from your. Your Donny Darkos, so well done. <laughs> Let's move on to question number three. Now we're going back to probably the sixties.、Uh, according to Mary Poppins, the film, how many sugar, or how much sugar, helped the medicine go down? Was it a sprinkle full of sugar helps the medicine go down, or was it a sack full of sugar helps the medicine go down, or was it a cup full of medicine? <laughs> Or was it a spoonful? You know, I'm just running out of breath here. 
I'm only on the third question. It was, of course, a spoonful of sugar. Julie Andrews, the beautiful Julie Andrews. She was magnificent. That's now actually gone to Broadway. It's a comedy musical, uh, Mary Poppins. And um, Julie Andrews did obviously give her a chord to that. She uh, was there to support the cast. Uh, so a spoonful of sugar. 54% of you knew your spoonfuls from your sprinkles or your sackfuls. And especially Youssef, who says, you look like late Katy Perry. What, me? Now? I kissed a girl and I liked it. The taste of her cherry chapstick. <laughs> I think that's it. I'm not extremely up to date with my Katy Perry songs, but I'm getting the vibes. Thank you, Youssef, if that was aimed at me. If not, then it's just your pseudonym, then why not? Just chatting up the girls. You like Katy Perry? OK. Um, question number four. Now, stay British here, OK? Back to Black. Was a hit album for which singer? Duffy, Amy Winehouse, Adele, or Leona Lewis? They're British, they're all British singers. Was it Duffy, Amy Winehouse, Adele, or Leona Lewis? Now, Back to Back was a hit album for which singer? Now, her hair is a big clue in this. If you can kind of envision, 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 imagine her hair is a big clue as to who sung this album. It was, of course, Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse and Back to Black. It was produced by Mark Bronson and Salam Remy in 2006. It also kind of it was the album that gave us hits such as Rehab and So You Know I'm No Good. Unfortunately, Amy died in 2011, leaving a legacy behind her of such outstanding albums. And, of course, who can forget her amazing voice? Amy Winehouse, rest in peace. I loved a bit of Amy, me. 76% uh, of you got that one correct. 4% of you thought it was the Welsh singer Duffy. It wasn't Duffy. 7% um, of you thought it was Leona Lewis, who won Pop Star or something in the UK, Pop Idol. And Adele. <laughs> Adele. The great, the, the great Adele. It wasn't her either. 13% of you thought it was. Uh, however, Bally Bello did not get confused. He knew it was Amy Winehouse. I'm not sure if it was my clue or just whether he just loved the, her crooning, jazzy, bluesy voice. Um, so you were the quickest. Well done. Let's move on to question number five of this quiz in English. There are points to win. There is money to be won here, guys. So stay concentrated, especially from now on, because the points are increasing. We're going to get to uh, question number nine, which is going to be a worth 100 points, so stay focused. In which city is the House of the Rising Sun? Is it New Orleans? Is it Cleveland? Is it Anaheim? Or is it San Luis? Now, in which city is the House of the Rising Sun? It was, of course, a hit for the animals. Don't forget that in the 1960s. There's a house in... <laughs> And they call the rising sun. <laughs> no, is that not a good enough clue? There's a house in. <laughs> it was, of course, New Orleans, guys. New Orleans, New Orleans, or if you're French, New Orleans. You know, let's keep it international here. We've got lots of players from everywhere in the world. And I saw, actually, the other day, I saw the list of all the players, because we're going to tell you about your phone numbers. Um, They've got people coming in and playing from everywhere, all, all corners of the world, and that's ça fait plaisir. So whether you're New Orleans, New Orleans, or New Orleans, whatever one you have. So, yes, question number five. 51% of you got New Orleans right. 18% uh, of you thought it was Cleveland. 20% of you thought it was Saint Louis. Saint Louis. However, Anis Ayusi, uh, Ayusi si, got the answer the quickest. So well done, Anis. Keep up the momentum. We're going into question number six, and it's hot. The question is a hot one. Now, Sex on Fire was a massive hit. For which US rock band? Was it Kings of Leon? Was it The Killers? Was it Foo Fighters or Arcade Fire? Well, that was a hot question, man. Dude, that was hot. That was hot. Damn it. Now, Sex on Fire was a massive hit for Kings of Leon. Yes, the US rock band. Uh, it is composed of the brothers Caleb, Nathan, and Jared Folliwell and their cousin, 
Matthew. Now, they spent their childhood driving around. They're from a family of evangelists. So obviously, you know, they've got, they maybe have got that, their, their vocal, their singing from, uh, from the biblical, so from songs and gospel. Um, who knows? So that's Kings of Leon. 43% of you got that one correct. 17% of you thought it was the killers. 25% of you thought it was the Foo Fighters. And 16% of you thought it was Arcade Fire. Okay. I said it was a hot question, but it was not Arcade Fire. It was Kings of Leon. Thomas Sherrock. You got the answer the quickest. Well done. Keep it going, man. Question number seven. I'm really liking it tonight. I'm liking these real rock questions. These real kind of, you know, I'm liking this musical quiz. It's all good here. Which of these movies did Paul Simon write music to? Titanic, Hot Shots, Shampoo, or Alien? Which of these movies did Paul Simon, of Simon and Garfunkel f uh, fame as well, write the music to? Was it Titanic, Hot Shots, Shampoo, or Alien? Mm-hmm. Paul Simon, yes, he actually did write um, <coughs> Mrs. Robinson for the film The Graduate. That was a great, that was a great hit, love that. 46% um, of you got shampoo correct, 23% of you thought it was Alien. I'm trying, you know, Paul Simon writing music for the Alien, we've got for Alien, a bit hard. Idem, Titanic, Hot Shots, why not? Razek, you got that answer the quickest, so well done Razek. Let's move on to question number eight. The penultimate question of this quiz in English is right now on your screens. Howard Shaw created the soundtrack to which 1986 film? Was it The Fly? Was it Stand By Me? Was it Top Gun or Terminator 3? Howard Shaw created the soundtrack or composed the soundtrack to which 1986 film? Was it The Fly, Stand By Me, Top Gun or Terminator 3? Now, as one of his many, the many soundtracks that he, uh, he curated or he composed, he composed scores to over 80 films. It was, of course, The Fly. Amongst those films, Lord of the Rings and the, Ho and the Hobbit film trilogies, Lord of the Rings, that is one of only three films to have got three Oscars, yes, along with Ben-Hur, um, and Titanic. So there we go. Howard Shaw, a Canadian composer, extremely well known. He composed the music to The Fly. The only thing that hangs around you, honey, are the flies. God damn it. Let's move on. 49% of you got that one correct. 12% of you thought it was Stand By Me. 26% of you thought it was Top Gun. And 13% of you thought it was Terminator 3. Greg Lath. You got it right the quickest, mate. Well done. Let's see if you can get question number nine correct. This is worth 100 points. If you have your multiply by five joker, now is the time to put it down, guys. We want maximum money. We're giving away money on Be The One tonight. If you want to get your, your part of that extra 50 euros tonight, stay concentrated. Question number nine is coming up to you right away. In 2005, who? achieved the number one single with the importance of being idle. No, it would be more like the importance of being idle. Was it James Blunt? Was it Dido? Was it Usher? Or was it Oasis? Now, in, 19, in 2005, who achieved a number one single with the importance of being idle? Hmm, who was that? Who was that? It was, of course, Oasis. I'm not sure if you remember the clip with the Welsh actor Rhys Evans kind of acting and dancing very, very, how would I describe it? He's very sophisticated, he's wearing a top hat. It looks like um, a, uh, I was about to say, what are they called? Perception people who work in a funeral. Anyway, um, so looking very sophisticated, sort of dancing in it to um, Oasis is the importance of being idle. It was sung and written uh, by Noel Gallagher. I'm sure by that time he couldn't stand Liam anymore. Look, you know what, mate? I'll write this one and I'll um, sing it because you're just doing the head in, mate. You're doing the head in. And I know it's going to be a, I know it, it's going to be a question number nine on the Be The One quiz in English. And I don't want people to, you know, to miss out on winning loads of money. So I'm going to sing it. I'm going to do everything. All right. It was Oasis. 68% of you got that one correct, which was just goes to show how, how, how generous we are. We're just giving the questions away. It was an extremely easy question. Considering it's question number nine, it was worth 100 points. Dido, 
9% of you thought it was uh, Dido, 12% of you thought it was Yeah, beautiful, it's true. The importance of being idle. No, it doesn't, it doesn't ring the same, guys. Or the importance of being idle. <laughs> That's my usher impression as well. <laughs> it's a bit, bit of a hopeless one. Emmerich Charles, you got the answer right the quickest. I'm wondering if you're going to get your part in 50 euros, the extra 50 euros for all the jackpot winners. I'm just going to wait and get the statistics through. So, 241 people will be getting will be getting a partner 100 euros and of the 25 of you got 960 points so you'll be getting an extra 50 euros shared between you so let's talk money here because that's what we came for two euros 41 for the jackpotters <laughs> it's worth it it's a pint down where the spoons and 41 cents for the others. Now just imagine, if we're doing this six times a week, you could be earning some two, two you could be, you know, two, two, two euros forty. Just, you know, hanging out with me for 15 minutes. There's worse guys, I can assure you. Anyway, I'm going to bid the adieu. Thank you so much for watching this quiz in English with me, Hayley Edmonds on Be The One. Be there tomorrow, be there or be square, nine o'clock French time, eight o'clock UK time, for another quiz in English with me, Rock On Dude. I shouldn't have said that, that looks really whack. Sorry about that.